Hey y'all, it's me, Crafty Cup, aka Anthony, aka Anthony Labat, and it's Monday! Yeah! Today is St. Patrick's Day, hence why I'm wearing a green shirt, and it's really late at night, because I'm filming this on Sunday! So today on Make It Monday, I figured that since today is St. Patrick's Day, I would teach you how to make something kind of St. Patrick-y! But I couldn't think of anything, so I figured, let's make some St. Patrick's Day cupcakes. So how do you make a St. Patrick's Day cupcake? Well, the only thing I can come up with was to make a beer cupcake. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I chose to use some Sam Adams, um, because we're going to support Sam Adams. I actually really like Sam Adams anyway. Um, but Sam Adams recently pulled out of the Boston St. Patrick's Day Parade because they wouldn't allow gay groups to march in it. And so I figured since Sam Adams is supporting me and my peeps, I should support them. So we're going to make some Sam Adams St. Patrick's Day cupcakes. So the first thing you're going to want to do is preheat your oven at 375 degrees. Then we're going to take our mixing bowl and we're going to add 3 fourths cup of butter and one and three fourths cups of sugar. And so you're going to want to cream those together um, until it's fluffy. Okay, so once you've mixed together your butter and your sugar, you're going to add eggs to your mixture. You're going to add them one at a time. You're going to add one egg and then blend it. And then you're going to do that three times. So three eggs to your batter. Okay, so once you're done mixing your eggs into your butter and sugar mix, you're going to take two and a half cups of flour and add it to a bowl with two teaspoons of baking powder and a half a um, teaspoon of salt. And then you're going to want to stir that together. really good. So now once you're done with that, you're going to want to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and you're going to want to add a um, half a teaspoon of orange zest and blend that together. Okay, so then you're going to take one cup of your beer, whatever beer you've chosen to use, um, and then a fourth a cup of milk and you're going to add those together and you're going to stir it. Okay, the next step is going to be adding the flour and then our liquid mixture to the batter. Now the way you're going to do this is you're going to add some flour, then add some of your mixture and you're going to keep rotating the process, but you want to make sure you start with your flour and you end with your flour. Okay, now once you're done mixing your batter, you're going to want to take your cupcake pans, you're going to want the liners in them. Alright, and then you're going to want to take a scoop and you're going to want to scoop your batter into the liners. Okay, so now once you've filled up all of your cupcake liners, you're going to put them in the oven for about um, 18 minutes or until they're done, you know, when you put a toothpick in and it comes out um, clean. And so let's hope, that, let's hope that they turn out well. All right, y'all, so once your cupcakes are done baking, um, take them out and put them on a cooling rack. Then the, you're gonna wanna poke some holes into the top while it's still hot. Then you're gonna take some of your beer, I poured some into a cup of mine, you're going to take a, um, like a basting brush, I'm not sure what it's called, and you're going to just want to rub some across the top. Okay, so now while those were baking, I went ahead and made the frosting. Um, I will post the recipe for the frosting down in the description, um, but I did it off camera just to save some time. Um, the only thing that I did different was that I added some green food coloring because it is a St. Patrick's Day cupcake. 
And then you're just going to add some of your frosting into the piping bag. I made some garnish, um, some chocolate stuff to put on top. Also have some green sprinkles and some green sprinkle pearls to put on there. Um, um, and I'll show you what my cupcakes look like right now. So, I'm finally finished with the cupcakes. I decorated them with the icing. I added some of the um, sprinkles, some of the little pearls, and the chocolate things that I made. Um, I haven't tried one yet, so let's hope they taste good. Hmm, which one do I want to try? Mm. I'm nervous. All right, let's see. They're actually really good. <laughs> Thanks for watching, y'all. In the comments, let me know what your favorite kind of cake is. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and reblog this video. Um, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. See you on Friday.